shopping. We go every week on Sunday. Uh, sometimes my husband goes by himself. My mother goes by himself. But usually, like, I like to go with him so I can pick out some things. He always complains that every time I go with him, the bill is, like, over. Uh, but I said to him the other day, I'm like, listen, you know what? I make our house a home. So these extra little things, you know, make it a house, a home rather than just a house. So he totally agreed with me. I'm sure he did, even though he didn't say it, but still. Just made myself a coffee and Celine is just about to turn off the light. Yeah. Mommy. Thank you. Don't do it, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> I told her no like a couple seconds ago, and I swear she gave me like a for the puppy eyes, like a pouty face. She's like, <laughs> like whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I taught her that. Possibly. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, thought I'd bring you guys along with us today. Just you know, some grocery shopping. Come at home. I'll show you guys what we got. What we usually get from the stores that we go to. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just a, a lazy, cozy Sunday. You're blocking the view. <laughs> my Cece has the hiccups. She wants to drink my coffee. That's like something. You want to show them the coffee, Mama? Let's show them the coffee. Look. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> Whoa! No, don't touch it. You can drink it like this. <laughs> no, this was Costa, right? I showed show you guys this is Costa. It's actually not like Costa in the store. There's just no way. sitting up front with Imaz and it's such an accomplishment for me because I've been having to sit in the back for such a long time because Celine just likes to have someone next to her but today we have a tablet on and she's just gonna watch something while we drive to the store Ooh. right hubby wubby hi guys <laughs> yeah so that's what we're doing it's actually really cold today it's like chilly very chilly. It's like the first day I, I, I could tell you that it's actually cold. It's five degrees. It's five degrees. That's why. So from eight to five, you can actually feel the difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That guy's totally staring. <laughs> He's like, what is this like concoction you have holding in your hand? So what uh, store are we going to today? Mm -hmm. Are we going to Aldi or Asda or Tesco? We're or... going to Aldi um, only because... We only tend to go to Asda when we need nappies. I like Asda nappies, but other than that, I like to shop, shop at Aldi. You know, cost of living and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like every time I go to Asda, it's hundred pounds just gone there. Well, I was telling them earlier that you blame me. Oh yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> of course, because you have your eyes on other things, and she probably she's. Like last time, yeah, she said, uh, um, when I come, I'll make the house a home. Do you know what she gets? Snacks. <laughs> and you tell me, how does snacks make a home? I just left it like that. I was like, yeah, it can't be us. It does, because when you're, you know, want to munch and stuff, you're, it's not like a, you know, it's, it's there for you. You're not, you don't have to go to the grocery store. It's already there for you. But technically, I end up eating all the snacks anyways, and he doesn't get a, a bit. <laughs> yeah. We're both just sniffling. Yeah, it's that season. Tis the season for a cold. It's that season. It's that season. It might snow next week, I'm hearing. <gasps> oh my god, I love the snow. But will it settle? That's a... That's a different story. That's a different story. I don't think it was settled. So two years ago, before Celine, hmm. uh, it did snow, no? I do. It think snowed it and it settled. And we were at uh, 
We were at the park. Remember, took pictures. But that was in December. That was January. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. That was January. That was uh, Stockwood Park. I remember. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna quickly just have a quick bite because I don't want to go into the grocery store hungry because knowing me, I would want to get all the snacks if I'm hungry. So both me and my mother are hungry and we're just gonna grab like a twister from KFC. And next to the twister, there is a little. And we like little only for a couple of reasons. So when we go inside, I'll show you guys what we get from little. Okay, so in little, there's always like the bakery section. Uh, you always should get the butter croissants or the chocolate croissants. There's literally none left, so we can't get anything. <laughs> For the chocolate croissants, yeah, exactly. Okay guys, so far we got some tomatoes. Um, I always try to smell them. If they smell like the garden, then they're beautiful. Uh, we have onions, garlic, mixed leaf salad. I'm gonna make like a Lebanese dish, but vegetarian style. Lots of eggs, because we love them and some like salad bits and ooh, a lovely artisan bread because we love sourdough our bread sourdough is like the best and a malted bloomer that looks beautiful yeah yeah beautiful look at it look at this sugars and saturates awesome let's do it and selena is just enjoying herself with her pasta <laughs> what i love about little is that you could get like things like this you can just put a bag of pistachios almonds so there's no sugar no nothing so i'm and i try not to get any fresh vegetables because frozen is always best especially since a lot of the stuff in in england are not sprayed that much so they don't last as long as um sprayed stuff blah, 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 blah. you want to come down <laughs> i'm gonna let her roam around the store a little bit but anyways, um, so get, we get frozen all the time. Frozen peas, frozen carrots, frozen everything. Okay, all right. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, baby. Let me see those. Wow, those are massive. Are those farmed or wild? So they're from Ecuador, but are they farmed or wild? Farm Reasonably seafood. farmed. Yes, no thanks. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 wow, they're already cooked. So here's another tip for you guys. If you're having a party and you need some desserts, grab some macarons, like two boxes of these. They're like three pounds. Uh, and sit them up on the table really nicely and there you go. You have something filled up on the table. It's just these little things kind of add up nicely. So we just finished from Little and we got a couple of things. I swear to God, okay, there's this lady who was loving on Celine and she uh, was like, what's your name? What's your name? And when we said her name, Celine, she's like, Shalim? Shalim? Salim? <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, I noticed that a lot of older Asians have a hard time understanding her name. It's not Salim or Shalim or it's literally Selino. Selino. <laughs> oh yeah, she said Selino, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally Celine, and sometimes I have to like say Celine Dion, so they know where that name is, like what that name actually is. What is up with that? Seriously, it's not that hard. <laughs> We chose a name that wasn't hard. Like we didn't choose like Abdul Qadir. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, what's a hard uh, female name? I don't even know. Even uh, my name Iman. Like growing up, I had a hard time with it. Uh, people wouldn't know how to say my name, like Iman or Iman. Like it was just ridiculous. It's so easy, Iman. But um, I ended up changing my name to Emma in high school for two years like people call me Emma now my high school friends till this day they call me Emma uh, even though I don't go by that name as soon as I left uh, as soon as I left high school I was back to Iman you know because that's my name but yeah what about you did you have a hard time with your name yeah a little bit they used to call me I'mad Emad 
Yeah. So that's what they do with my brother as well. They say the same exact thing. Mm. Imad. I'm just reversing, guys. That's why I'm not like, looking at the. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm not looking at the dash. I mean the camera. I'm looking at the dash. Well, anyways, guys, we're losing light now. Um, we're gonna head over to Asda. No, not Asda. Where are we going? Asda. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Asda. That, that was the original plan, but we ended up just getting a bunch of things from this little. This is a lot, a lot better little than I've imagined. Um, yeah, I was supposed to show you guys right. the. I forgot to show them the orange juice maker. Mm. Oh. Okay, so inside of little, there's an orange juice juicer. Okay, so you get a plastic bottle, and you juice your own, your own um, oranges. It's beautiful. It's amazing. We've gotten it before. It is a little more expensive. Um, we have an alternative that we bought. We will. I'll show you guys when, when I get home. And um, and it's just as good as well. It's just as good. Yeah. There's nothing. It's, it's fresh. It's really good. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in Asda. <laughs> Actually, should I not see them in Asda and just show them what I got from Asda? Yeah, that's a good idea. See, I'm trying to struggling to get out. So many cars. <laughs> it's a Sunday. Everyone's trying to get their stuff for the rest of the week. Yeah, so I'll show you guys what I got from Asda when I get home. We're back, we're back home. Selena's sleeping, she ended up sleeping in the car, so we just transferred her to the bedroom. And I thought I'd show you guys what we got all together. I barely have any counter space, so I've basically put everything on top of the, the stove. Anyway, so we have here the malted bloomer, which we love everyday toast with eggs. This would be so nice as garlic bread or with a little bit of lebne, if we had lebne. Uh, zatar on top yum 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 we love our bagels um yum love bagels they're not that good for you but we like to have them on occasion so the frozen stuff from little by the way this is all from little here uh frozen stuff we have blueberries brussels sprouts broccoli and cauliflower mix i already have peas and carrots uh, and other things in the fr freezer so not worried so much about that Got our tomatoes, um, our green olives, peeled plum tomatoes. Um, I got this cabbage because I'm gonna make this into a Lebanese dish. So watch out for that. I'll show you guys on, probably on Instagram. Now from Asda, we got some British milk, organic. This is for Ahmed and Celine because they love their milk. We got some, oh, here it is. This is also from Asa. So this is the yogurt that I get, organic, natural yogurt. And then that's it, actually. Oh my God, I f this is the main part I want to show you guys. So remember how I mentioned in Little you can get freshly squeezed orange juice? Well, this is the other option that you guys can get. It's much cheaper. It's cold press, orange juice, has some vitamins in it, and it's just 100%. Well, 99 point something percent of orange. It's just the added vitamins that they put in here. So we get three bottles of these and they last a little bit longer than the other ones. They're so good. And that's it, guys. Good morning. It's the next day and we are just chilling at home, me and Celine. My dad's at work. He doesn't go into the office very often. He goes twice a month. So uh, he's at work today in London, so. We are at home today. I really want to go out, but it's four degrees. And when it's four degrees in England, it means it's cold. And if it's windy, it's even worse. Uh, there's humidity in the winter here. And so when it's humid and cold, it feels colder. So it is what it is. I don't know. We'll see if we're going to go out today. I'm not sure. Maybe for a walk. Maybe not. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, oh my God, I need to show you guys those. <laughs> I put up the greenery around the window frame uh, just so I can give the, the house a cozy feel this winter. These are actually from my henna. I had these from my henna party and even the lights. So like from years ago, I still have them. And yeah, mama, I'm just showing them the lights, baby. Aren't they beautiful? They're a little bit messy, so I do want to fix that up a little bit today. It kind of uh, needs a little bit of a judge, but we'll see. So as I was saying, uh, Celine does wake up in the middle of the night a thousand times, uh, but she ended up sleeping all the way to 8.30, and that was so nice. I loved it. Yeah. 
So pizza's ready, time to eat. Yeah, so we'll see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. and to be honest it could be a little bit better they're not gooey like I want them to be on the inside I think the recipe calls for gooey gooey cookies but for some reason mine turned out dry maybe the temperature of my oven just didn't suit the recipe I have to figure out the best temperature but we tried it out and they're still edible with some tea <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I will see you guys in the next video